A blessed day to all of you. I am your presenter, Jamily P. Reyes, a Ma and Gensai student. Today, I will be presenting to the Pampanga State Agricultural University College of Education Graduate Studies. My study is entitled Development and Validation of 7E-Based Self-Directed Science 10 Module. For the introduction, the COVID-19 virus has a massive impact on our society, and the education sector was not immune to this disruption. While student learning must continue even during the pandemic, according to Tandon in 2020, teachers were challenged to be more innovative and creative in delivering education. Without traditional face-to-face -face learning as an option, the education sector had to rethink and reconfigure methods of teaching students radically. According to McLaughlin, scholar and teacher in 2020, the education sector's top priority is remote modes of service delivery in the condition of the current social distancing requirements and unprecedented demands for assistance. Because of the pandemic, a lot of unprivileged students cannot cope up with online learning. Thus, it could be more helpful to deliver printed self-directed modules to students instead of maintaining an online learning platform. With the sudden threat of the COVID-19 pandemic poses and with the shift and introduction of different modalities, curriculum content was decongested and developments were introduced. The creation of the most essential learning competencies, or also known as MELCs, was made possible by the collaboration of the Department of Education, Curriculum Development and Assessment, and Technology Center. Curriculum experts are greatly needed for the dissemination of the new concepts and in retooling the teachers. Teachers being the frontliners of the education realm must and should continue retooling, refining, and rehoning their craft amidst the threat of the pandemic. According to our Secretary of Department of Education, Ms. Leonor Briones, said that education must continue and students must have access to education even in times of an emergency such as COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, teachers must be adaptable to these pressing issues and challenges associated with their critical role in the teaching and learning process. The phases of the learning process are represented by different learning models, such as the 3E, going to 5E, and then 7E. The most different from this is the 7E model, which starts with elicits and ends with extending. The 7E model is founded on Republic Act Number 10533, known as the 2013 Enhanced Basic Education Act. Department of Education, or DepEd, gives importance in ensuring that the curriculum is learner-centered, inclusive, and developmentally appropriate, as well as flexible enough for schools to localize, indigenize, and improve in it accordance with their respective educational and social settings. It also states that the development and production of locally produced teaching materials will be encouraged, with the approval granted to regional and division education units. As a result, the 7E instructional model is used to assist students with their existing problems by bridging the gap between technology and inquiry, that is from Lubiano and Magpantay in 2021. Through the 7E cycle learning model, students tend to have higher analytical thinking abilities and attitudes toward learning compared to those studying in conventional classes because the learning model provided students to build up the knowledge by themselves, and students are more enthusiastic about learning. This study aimed to develop and validate a 7E-based self-directed science 10 module designed for grade 10 students. This module emphasized 7E-based 7 7 learning material that will help students during modular learning. 
This study is anchored on Brunner's constructivism theory. An American psychologist, Jerome S. Brunner, made remarkable contributions to cognitive psychology and cognitive learning. According to Brunner in 1973 on the spiral curriculum, the curriculum has an immediate effect on learning. Brunner pro uh, proposed that the curriculum should return to the fundamental ideas repeatedly, building on them until the students stand understands the entire formal apparatus that goes with them. In terms of discovery learning, Brunner created the concept and prescribed it as an inquiry-based constructivist learning theory that holds that learners use prior knowledge and experiences to search for facts and relationships. As a result, it is thought that learners are more likely to remember concepts, knowledge created, or come across on their own, and that is according to Gian and Perkins in 2013. Constructivism emphasizes the learner's active role in developing understanding and making sense of information, as cited by Fasnacht in 2005. Constructivist teaching is learner-centered with students actively participating in knowledge construction rather than being passive learners. For the conceptual paradigm, the researcher used the input process output. According to Lee, in 2017, he defined the model as a process represented by a series of boxes or processing elements linked by inputs and outputs information material passed through a series of tasks or activities that are guided by a set of rules and decision points. The input consists of the learning competencies in science, then the content and the topics to be included in the 7E based self directed science, then module, and uh, existing materials from different resources. And in the process, we have the designing and developing the 7E based self directed science, then module, the evaluation of the learning competencies in science, then by grade 10 teachers using an evaluation tool from the Pisauco Ed Department, the validation of the module by the science experts using an evaluation tool from the Pisauco Ed Department, and including the revision of the module. Of course, the output will be the 7E based self-directed Science 10 module. The aim of this study was to develop and validate a 7E based self-directed science 10 module for grade 10 students. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. Number one, how may the 7E-based self-directed module in science 10 be developed? And number two, how may the 7E-based self-directed module in science 10 be validated considering the following content, pedagogy, and design and format? The study utilized research and developmental design, specifically descriptive evaluative method of the research. For our respondents, the first group was composed of at least 10 grade 10 science teachers who serve as evaluators of the topics included in the self-directed modules. This group of respondents had degrees and experiences aligned with their teaching specialization and teaching the subject for at least three years. The second group of respondents was composed of 10 science experts. The first set of validator was composed of science experts, including a principal, head teacher, two master teachers, and a grade 10 science teacher who validates the science module in the division of Anglet City. These sets serve as validators for the content and pedagogical factors. For the second set, the two science teachers from different schools in the division of Pampanga, and they developed the modules from their respective schools. Together with the second set of the validator, aside from the two science teachers that we have in the past slide, we have three learning resources management and development system or LRMDS coordinators of different schools in the division of Angeles City. This set of teachers and experts serve as the validators for the design and format factors. For the research instrument, evaluation instrument for topics to be included in the DE ODEL modules from the PISAO Co-ed. The first group of respondents who evaluated the areas included in the module used the content validity instrument. 
The competencies marked as essentials were included in the module. Likewise, the topics identified as not essential were excluded. This is a sample of our research instrument used for the study. The second research instrument that we use is the evaluation rating sheet for DE and ODEL modules from the PISAO Coed, a checklist tool answerable by yes or no helps experts to determine the criteria such as content, design and format, and pedagogical factors. Example of our evaluation rating sheet. We have three phases in the research procedure. We have the phase one, the needs for the assessment, phase two, development, and the third one is the validation. Lodge Content Validity Ratio Table was used in the study as statistical tool. The expert validators will evaluate the 7E based self-directed module and calculation of their responses brings out the mean scores for each criterion rated yes or no in the said tool. The analysis shall also include the frequency percentage. The criteria with no responses and those with the highest frequency shall serve as a basis in revising and improving the module. In the production of valid and reliable assessment data, the instruments used in gathering the data must be empirically grounded. In performing the content validity ratio, to determine which learning competencies will be included upon the development of the module, the total number of experts and the number of experts and the number who rated the object as essential will be considered using the formula. The content validity ratio has a formula of CVR equals E minus N over 2 divided by N over 2, where NE is the number of panelists indicating essential and the N is the total number of evaluators. They determine which learning competencies will be included upon the development of the module. The minimum value based on the number of experts or panelists will be transmuted using the Loshi's table of content val validity. So, as you can see, since we have evaluators of 10 panelists, the score must be 0 0.62 and up for the competency to be considered as essential. For the results in discussion, the researcher conducted an assessment and module development planning following the study approval. For the phase 1 assessment, okay, we have the researcher and the teacher evaluators. Our basis is evaluation of most essential learning competencies and the activities were done was browsing and reading of information from the print and non-print materials or resources, gathering of grade 10 science reference materials, and identifying the evaluators and validators. In this phase, it is the researcher does all the work. Upon retrieving the evaluation tools from the different grade 10 science teachers, the researcher performed the content validity ratio using the LOSH table, and the researcher determined the final list of competencies used in developing the module. After the results of the evaluation using the evaluation instrument, the researcher started designing the self-directed science module and making the parts and content of the self-directed module. Following the development of the modules in Science 10, the second group of respondents, the expert module validators, validated them. The validity of the module was determined by the experts' opinions. Specialists chosen must be highly proficient in the language, education, and modules. That is according to Ghani and Aris in 2012. More so, according to Sitamba, Rubio, Bergweger, Teb, Lee, and Rauch in 2017, propose that the validity process appoint at least three reviewers as experts. For the summary scores of learning competencies per learning content in first quarter for Science 10, as you can see in the table, all of the five learning competencies in Science 10 were considered essential. The researcher retained and considered only the competencies with content validity ratio or CVR values meeting the minimum value of 0.62, to 1.00 based on LOSH table. Based on the table, the topics included were as follows, plate tectonics theory, earthquakes, plate boundaries, and evidence supporting plate movements were all included in the developed, self-directed, 7E-based science module.
In Table 2 for the summary scores of learning competencies per learning content in second quarter for Science 10, the table shows the score of the learning competencies per learning content in the second quarter that all competencies or learning competencies were considered essential and should be in the module. The topics in this quarter were all about electromagnetic spectrum, mirrors, lenses, and simple electric motors and generators. For the table 3.1 or the summary of scores of learning competencies per learning content in third quarter in Science 10, for the learning competencies number 12 to 16, they are considered essential. Continuing the summary of scores of learning competencies per learning content in the third quarter, for learning competencies number 17, 18, and 19, they are considered essentials, while learning competency number 20 is not considered essential. And for the last summary of scores of learning competencies per learning content in fourth quarter in Science 10, learning competencies number 21, 22, and 23, and 24 are considered all essentials. For the design and development of the 7E based Science 10 module, based on the identified learning competencies upon the evaluation of the teacher respondents, the content, learning activities, and assessment methods were designed in each module. To attain the target competencies, the number of modules developed was based to the number of essential competencies that were approved by the grade 10 science teacher evaluators. The researcher gave attention to the need of the students to learn the selected topics and attain the learning objectives in a modular approach of learning. Moreover, the simplicity of concept discussed, the illustration provided were taken into consideration for easy learning and understanding of complex topics. This, therefore, the researcher came up with 23 modules, 5 in the first quarter, 6 in the second quarter, 9 in the third quarter, and 4 in the fourth quarter. The researcher designed each module to make it more visually appealing and presentable. The developed self-directed module contains 10 parts. First, overview. It is the general and brief outline or review and summary of the topic. Followed by elicit. It is the pre-assessment and it extracts or draw attention to prior understanding and knowledge. Number three, engage. This is a stage that allows the student to attract interest and strong desire to learn. It raised the big questions and introduced new learning through teacher explanation. Number four, explore. This phase allows students to obtain and share a set of observations that they can use to assist each other to make sense of new ideas or skills. Number five, explain. In this stage, the teacher will enhance what students have discovered and help them build the concept knowledge further. Number six, elaborate. It is the application of learning. It is the stage will be the key in assessing students' progress, knowledge, and understanding. Number seven, evaluate or the post-assessment or the post-test. It is the opportunity to reflect and review their own learning and new understanding and skills, and it can be formative or summative. And then lastly is the extend. It is the stage where you challenge learners to apply the concept and skills in new situations. For number nine, this is the list of resources and materials where the content of the lesson is adopted and taken. Number 10, answer key. It is usually a copy of the test or exercise with the instructor's idea of the best possible answer written in it. The image shown is the example of the developed 7E based self-directed science module. We are already on the third part. The third one is our third phase, which is the validation of the 7 e based self-directed science 10 module. An evaluation rating sheet for the modules from the PSAO co-ed serve as the, the tool in validating the developed module, answerable by yes or no. The module was carefully validated using the valuing criteria or factor, content, design and format, and pedagogical factor. These are the tools used for validating the module. 
The evaluating rating sheets with response from each expert validators have been collected at and consolidated for data analysis. The comments, suggestions, and recommendations of the expert validators were taken into consideration and serve as the guidelines in revision of the developed module. As seen in the table, which is the validation of the 7E Science 10 module, to as to content, the first validation shows that five validators agreed that the module has satisfied items 1.1, 1.2, and 1.4. However, one of the five validators did not agree on the adequacy of information provided in every lesson with links and references to guide students for further research activities. The researcher provided additional information and suggested reading materials in the module to enhance students' skill to address such disagreement. Furthermore, two validators disagree with the accuracy of knowledge and ideas presented in every unit upon the first validation. The validator suggested revising and changing the lesson's reference material to improve details and information in the discussion section of the evaluated module. The table shows the validation of the 7E self-directed module as to format and design. It indicates the self-directed module satisfied all of the items upon the first validation. The self-directed module was in a logical format, appropriate design, and sequence correctly. On table uh, number three, which is the pedagogical factor, it illustrates the result of the authentication of the 7E-based self-directed module in terms of pedagogy. The validators agreed that the self-directed module met items 3.1, 3.2, 3.4, and 3.6 upon initial validation. For items 3.3, one validator disagreed, and for factor 3.5, two validators disagreed. On this table, illustrates that one validator disagreed on 3.7. The first validation suggested improving the module in terms of the assessment of the prior knowledge, or also known as the extent part. Employment of cognitive and motivational learning strategies, relevance and alignment of the activities with learning objectives, the feasibility of the lesson, and presence of an upright feedback mechanism for formative assessment, or also known as the evaluation part. For item 3.5, two out of five validators decided to disagree. As a result, the module's provision for individual indifferences or differences should be improved to support diverse learners. For the module to meet the requirements of item 3.5, the researcher enhanced and revised the pre-assessment questions to bridge the gap between what they already know and what they must know. Additionally, making the real-life applications and integration of the lesson with interesting facts satisfy the pedagogical standards of Item 3.3. Designing activities aligned to differentiated instructions satisfy the standard for 3.5. Lastly, to improve the module and meet the requirements of Item. The teacher plays question and follow-up activities on extend part of the module to regularly receive formative feedback on the learning, track their performance, monitor and improve uh, their performance, and test their knowledge. Following revision and improvement to satisfy the items before disagreement, the second validation revealed that all the topics meet the pedagogical factor requirements. It indicated that all revisions and modifications have been actual in, in standardizing the module's pedagogical factors in all validation domains. And for the conclusion, based on the study, the following statements were decided. The learning competencies included in, this, in the design were treated as essential by the science experts were included in the design. Each DE module has corresponding parts or sections to help attain the learning competencies. The learning competencies of the 7E-based module were systematically planned and developed with the help of the science experts. 
Another conclusion was made that the 7E based module had been validated and accepted by the panel of validators in terms of content, design and format, and pedagogical factor. The validator likewise agreed that the module has accurate, informative content, logically organized learning content, appropriate design, relevant activities, and assessment aligned to the instructional objectives which are competency-based. Generally, the developed 7E-based science module is valid and acceptable. The first three recommendations of the researcher is, first, the developed material can be used in a class and evaluated the material if it's appropriate for the grade level. The second recommendation, the developed material may be part of the blended learning in a distant learning modality in times of crisis such as COVID-19 pandemic or other calamities. And the third recommendation, the developed material can be used to develop the same material for other grade levels of science in jun junior and senior high school as well for other disciplines. And for the last two recommendations, other researchers may res replicate the study by designing and developing the e-modules that integrate other teaching disciplines and observe differentiated activities. And lastly, using an experimental study approach, the 7E-based self-directed science and module may be further investigated in terms of its usefulness on students' academic achievement. Thank you and God bless.